Welcome back. Our brewery of the month will have you enjoying a sip in the garage. It's Anna P. and Algoma. And soon to be Swamico. Woo -woo. Yeah. <laughs> Nick is here to show us a little bit of what's on tap. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we mentioned it earlier because Chad was talking with, uh, you know, a mushroom vendor. <laughs> Fun Guy <laughs> is my favorite beer that you make. Tell us Thank a you. little bit about this one. It's got a mix of uh, Northwoods mushrooms. We don't go out and pick them anymore, but uh, we usually like, dry it up. We ground them up. So then it goes in there and it gets all the way through the beer and uh, you get this nice earthiness without being, have to be a mushroom fan. I was just going to say that. I mean, to me, I think what I like about it is that it just tastes like clean and earthy, like you were saying. Yep. Yeah, very nice. Well, I love that each of your beers have a story. Tell us about the peanut butter or PB Hobo. <coughs> yeah, PB Hobo. So Ooh, this it's dark. Hundreds of pounds of peanuts in it. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, very peanut in the nose. You get the peanut all the way through, which sometimes some of the peanut beers that you can find out there just don't have a whole lot of peanut butter. And this one has a ton to it. So, oh my gosh, uh, it smells like a sandwich. Yes. It's, it's <laughs> and a Reese's. I mean that in the best way possible. <laughs> Reese's it peanut butter like cup. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's desserty. It's perfect uh, for probably just having one. It's 9% alcohol, so it's got a, a little bit more kick to yeah. it. Yeah. What but, would you uh, have that with? Like, you would have that like dessert. kind of as an after dinner drink, right? Yeah. yeah, you could have it as your dessert or you'd just have it with dessert, you know, chocolate cake or uh, strawberries, yeah. anything cheesecake. like that. Cheesecake. Oh, Coffee, yeah. yeah. All right. yeah. But we do have to talk about that <coughs> second location. You yeah. guys are in the process. Lisa mentioned she saw walls going up. Hallelujah. Super exciting. No, I'm so excited. Never been excited to see that much lumber, <laughs> you know? <laughs> exactly. This is what it's going to, this is kind of a rendering of what it's going to look like there. And, and this is going to be. Right there on 41 in Lineville in Swamico. Yep. Um, why did you guys want to do another location? I mean, and you're going to actually be brewing there too, right? Yep, so we're moving all of our brewing operation, which nobody really goes to right now. Right. If you go to the garage, you go to the garage, yeah. that's where you drink. And we have a garage that's attached to the brewery port part in uh, Swamico, uh, but we'll be moving all of it there. Logistics of freight, we don't have a, a loading dock, which will mm. be really nice oh, to have sure. in, in the winter and even in the summer when it's raining outside. Um, more space. Our tanks are really close together. You're banging your head on it every once in a while just because mm. it's so tight in there. So a little bit more room and we'll be able to brew all of the stuff on uh, inside ourselves. Which Will we be able to take a tour in Swamico? Most Put definitely. me on the spot, yep. I no, know. No, you're good. <laughs> it's, a, it's an often asked question right now that we just can't do because it is out of town. It just yeah. doesn't make sense to drive all the way out sure. there, bring people out and come back. Um, so it'll be there. Hey, you want to go on a tour? Yep, let's go and we can go see it. And we're bringing all of our equipment that we're using now, which is old dairy equipment, too. Ooh. So it'll be a different tour than you've ever seen, uh, especially in this area. It just is uh, different equipment all the way around. So. Sorry, one more Swamical follow-up question no, because right. I can actually like ride my bike there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, when are you expected to open that Swamical location? Do you know yet? Or so general time frame? Spring is so spring. It, okay. a couple months, uh, maybe not. Two, don't don't quote me on that, but uh, two, sure. three, hopefully, okay. um, before before summer kicks off, we're really looking forward to pouring our first beer there. So right, we'll have to send Jordan out there. But yeah. have no fear, the garage in Algoma is going nowhere. Is going nowhere, correct? Yeah. We'll have both tap rooms. Um, that's a, a commonly asked question, mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that yes, the garage is staying. We're not going anywhere. We're going to be part of the community in both places. So. Um, and congratulations to you guys on more than one level because you just some awards for some of your beer, right? Thanks. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, beer Connoisseur Magazine, we were uh, with Two Stall and our oh, Oktoberfest. Yeah. We were in the top 200 beers of the wow. uh, of the year. So, What's the Two Stall? Two Stall is our chocolate milk stout. So it has some cocoa nibs in it. Okay. Um, a lot less light than this one. Um, just a nice uh, kind of gourmet chocolate kind of feel. Not Hershey's syrup, more gourmet chocolate. Oh, yeah. So. And, you know, we're so familiar with your place. So we've been to the garage several yeah, times. I appreciate that. It's awesome. Can you get flights? I mean, just describe our experience at the garage in Algoma. Yep. So the garage in Algoma, we do do flights, but it's uh, five ounce beers. Kind of build your own. You can oh. have five if you want. You can have one if you want. Because some people don't mm -hmm. like hoppy beers or they don't like dark beers. Mm -hmm. So instead of forcing you to have six of this, this is our six that we're choosing. Choose whatever you want and mm -hmm. uh, just kind of build it. Uh, the uh, new new tap room will have the same. So, but craft beer is all about exploring, right? You might it be is. surprised at some of the things your palate likes. Like if you're a wine drinker, there may be a craft beer that is perfect for you. Most definitely, the Cherry Mechanic is mm -hmm. kind of wine driven. It's a little bit cidery, um, but it is beer. You know, mm -hmm. it's just different. And uh, mushrooms and free. And, right? <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms and beers, maybe not for everybody, but. If you're at the tap room and it's two dollars to try a little, yeah, you yeah. might really, really enjoy it. You know, 
I did not think I would like it because I'm not like a huge mushroom fan. But yep. again, it's so good and earthy. And also, you're right next to Bunch Deal. So, like, you know, I know yep. you guys are friends. And if someone really wants wine, like, you know, just. If you want to go take a break, go next door. <laughs> <Exactly. yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, the location that is open right now for Anape Brewery is on Navarino Street in Algoma. As we mentioned, that Swamico location coming very soon. There you yeah. see their phone number, but also check them out online, anapebrewery.com, or find them on Facebook. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, thank you. Let's Cheers. Some of that. Cheers. All right. <laughs>